Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Fish and Grills. We're on the beautiful east side of Oahu. I'm gonna make some Hawaiian style pokey from you. And for this episode, we have a special collab. Our guest star, Joe from On Fire Fishing. Yeah, what's up boys? Okay, so I'm gonna make a spicy Palehu taco. Super easy, but delicious. And also, here you go. A traditional grilled Palehu taco with my boys Fish and Grills. So everybody, Stay in tune! Shoots! for this episode of Alright guys, how's it going? Thanks for joining us on another episode of Fish and Grills. This is going to be a special episode because we're going to be collaborating with our friend Joe from On Fire Fishing Hawaii, so be sure to also check out his channel. We're going to go do a cook-off at the beach later, so we're going to pick up some octopus. Or in Hawaii, we call it taco or he. This is an eight-legged sea creature and is part of the cephalopod species. They're soft, squishy, and don't have any bones. The octopus has three hearts, one to pump its blue blood around the body and two to pump blood to its gills. The octopus also has an ability to change its colors within a hundredth of a second and its textures to match its surroundings, used as a camouflage to hunt or for protection. They also have the ability to inject toxins into their prey, which softens up the meat and makes it easier for them to eat. They feed on crabs, shellfish, and occasionally small fish. Also be foraging for Vavaiole, which is a seaweed and one of 600 species of edible limu in Hawaii. The Vavaiole is considered a delicacy and has high value in Hawaiian culture. It's part of the green algae family and can be found all over Polynesia and throughout Indonesia. It typically grows in shallow waters near the shoreline off of rocky sand bottoms and reef structures. The limu Vavaiole translates to rat's foot in the Hawaiian language because of the way the little branches resemble rat feet. The texture is very spongy and filled with lots of vitamins and nutrients and makes a very healthy dish. Usually it's prepared to eat raw by itself or it can be added to poke for the amazing natural ocean flavor with just a few ingredients and a dash of Hawaiian salt. This one is for Ole. Very delicious seaweed, very rare. It can be added to anything. It needs to be an onion tomato. <laughs> Well, in this case, we're gonna make it with our Hawaiian style taco poke. Let's go get some more. Oh, two good, three good size ones. We got a handful of avaiole, handful of a pita put in a Hawaiian style taco pokey. See you in a zip. All right, let's go back from picking a vavaiole and our handful of pea. Let's clean our taco. Oh, yeah. All right, let's take it out in one piece. Up right here. Let's 
pull the beak. Put it on the side of the siphon. Okay, slowly pull it out little by little. Right, very delicate part is pull slow. Eyes pop out. <laughs> Beak, eyes. <laughs> okay. okay, see the side wall right there? Release it from the side walls. We're gonna go side of the eye, under the beak. Beak, eyes, body. There you go. Hold on one minute. All right, time to pound it. Right, after a quick pounding, I'm gonna cut it up into sections so it cooks faster and eat more evenly. All right, let's get it in a pot. I actually use water directly from the ocean natural salt. Let's drop in our taco. This boiled on for an hour, bag it up, get it ready for tomorrow. All right, well that's cooking, it's actually in a bye bye ole. So same concept as the Gorilla Ogo. You just grab enough some, a little bit of time. Make sure there's no critters, no crabs. Try to scrape up as much moss as much moss as you can. This should be good enough right there. On to the next. Collecting and cleaning this seaweed can be tedious but simple. You just gotta make sure there's no rocks or sand or any other ocean creatures in it. Alright, our Bobby is all cleaned up, ready to go. Let's take our taco out and let it cool down. Alright, the taco's all nice cooked up. We're gonna let it cool down, bag it up, bring it on to the beach tomorrow. We're gonna meet up with our friend Joe from On Fire Fishing. He's gonna join us for our taco poke construction. We're gonna warm it up on a grill for a few minutes each side, throwing all of our ingredients. Boom, boom, boom. It's gonna be fun. Stick around. All right, our fire is almost ready to go. We're gonna start prepping our ingredients. First ingredient, tomatoes. All right. So this is my captain's boy, helping grow it, so, and pick it. So this is like straight up potty eye, so we gotta thin it out a little bit. I know you guys are not used to Thinning it out, because in the store it's kind of watery already. This is like straight up, you don't add water, you cannot eat it. <laughs> it's so thick. Lick your screen. <laughs> Alright, next ingredient, onions. For our next ingredient, our freshly picked vabaiole. Alright, 
time for our next ingredient, Limoco. Now for our next ingredient, Inamora. Next green onions. <laughs> Here's our pre-boiled papa legs. We're gonna put it on a grill for a few minutes each side, pop, pop. We're gonna chop it up into dice-sized pieces, put it in, mix it up. Alright, so I'm gonna actually make two kinds of poke. I'm here with the fishing grills guys, so gotta try to step it up. But I'm gonna make so seven minutes in the Instapot. It's all pre-cooked, pre-prepped. I'm just gonna do is put some grill marks on it, warm it through. I'm gonna make two tiny types of poke. I'm gonna make a spicy palehu taco poke, and also a more traditional, just straight up grilled, sliced up palehu taco. All right, let this go. Yes. All right, our tacos are hot, ready to go. Let's chop it up, mix it up, and eat it up. this up for me. <laughs> all right, and all this is is just some mayonnaise, uh, sriracha, and some garlic chili oil. Mix that up. Oh, add a little bit to pico. Just run it up crunch and color. So this is like a almost like a spicy tuna mix, but with taco. So it really gives it that fat it needs and the umami and a lot of flavor. So a little bit of this goes a long way. So you don't want to drown it, you just want to hold it. And it's going to be super good. All right, almost there. One last. All right. There you go. Dick, yo, scream. All right, chef, come on in. Taste tester. There you go, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the flavors will be added. Taco is soft. Wind us. Mix this up real fast. Right there. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Wow, it has like a, I like the crunch from the ogle, and it actually has a salt. Super good. The natural salt, salt from the yeah. natural, the natural salt from the ogle is unreal, though. It's a winner. <laughs> On fire fishing approved. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Taco mini mix. 
Oh. All right, so what do I have here, Joe? Yo, so this is a spicy pulejo taco. Okay. So the reason why I came up with this is because I love spicy tuna. Okay. But the, I don't always catch tuna. Yeah, <laughs> There's like few and far between. So, but I catch a lot of tacos. So I said, let's combine the two and came up with this and it's super good. All it is is a little um, sriracha aioli, which is basically mayonnaise and sriracha with a little chili oil and a garlic chili flakes. And I add a little bit of tobacco just for a little crunch. And it makes an unbelievable either dip or just a side poke. Well, so, cool. Chef, I tried this. This is unreal. What is this? This is called a Hawaiian style taco poke. So, what makes it Hawaiian style? Because everything's grown and harvested here in Hawaii. All it is is this onions, tomatoes, babayole, seaweed picked here in Hawaii fresh. We have limakoku picked here in Hawaii fresh. Hawaiian salt. We have kukui nut and just a little bit of chili pepper water and just mix it all up and all that natural saltiness goes inside all the flavors from all the other different limos just comes in together and makes one fabulous delicious dish that is good that's super good actually this is the first time i ever had this i know it looks like gorilla ogo but you look close it's a little bit fuzzy my only, I thought, that's a moss spongy thing. I would never eat this. So you mentioned earlier, it's, it, it, it's kind of similar to sea asparagus. It does. It has like a lot of natural sea salt. Like you bite into it, it's super salty in a good way. It's like, it, that adds a lot of flavor and texture. Has that same sponginess, that same natural saltiness mm. to it. Yeah. Super good. Mm. Boom. <laughs> All right. Done. Cutting this up. All I'm gonna add is a little bit of sesame oil. So this is sesame seed oil, but it's in a different jar <laughs> to bring it to the beach. So sprinkle this over it. Has a little garlic chili oil on there. Little green onion, home from the yard. And then of course, a lye salt, because I'm from Kauai, so they need that red salt. It's a little sprinkle. Bam. Give it a little toss, and it should be good to go. Look at that. Simple, easy, and delicious. There you go. Yes, sir. That's how it's done. There you go, this guy. Roger, he <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us. We had a blast. We had good times, good grinds with good people. And as always, stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grills. But you supposed to do that always. Oh yeah. Oh you. No you. <laughs> where, where are you guys from? Uh, Seattle. Seattle. Okay. You guys ever had taco before or uh, octopus? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love octopus. Oh, really? Oh, perfect. Okay. So, why don't you try all three and just tell us which one you like the best? Okay. <laughs> so, this one is the like, original one? Yeah, so it's an original, uh, spicy, like this is a spicy tuna style, and then this is like mm. the Hawaiian style. I like oh. the spicy one of those. I know you really don't like things with sauce, but this sauce is just really good. I like the, the Hawaiian style one. Because it's, <laughs> yeah, but I, don't, I know not everybody's gonna have that opinion because it's just different. It's like more seafoody, you know what I yeah. mean? But I like that, so I think I'll take that one. Ice is out. So you can spicy fishing one, fishing girls one. Yes, <laughs> one on one. one. Yeah. We tied. Yes. Thank you guys for yeah. watching. Yeah. Appreciate, appreciate it. Poi filled siphon. <laughs> this is the best part. Of the three pokes, which do you think? Do you guys like the best? I think it's a personal preference, right? But there's a spicy paleo taco, the old school paleo taco, and um, this is the Hawaiian style one. And just let us know which one you guys like best. What's your favorite, yeah? Because we're not gonna pick a favorite. My, my <laughs> you got favorite. It. No, no, no. It's who pounded it because it's soft. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> they're, 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 they're pretty good, man. Yeah, they're pretty good. Three different octopuses. I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go with my personal favorite with the Palehu one that you guys. The old school okay. Palehu regular one. first. Just, okay. just because I've never had a poke that my favorite. Was, oh, there it is. You know, 
on the barbecue first. Oh, good. Oh, that's that's interesting. Yeah, it has so a depth all, of flavor. Yeah, they're so, all delicious. They're all delicious. <laughs> well, I was like, like, you know, if, fire wins this round. No, no, no. Everybody, <laughs> what's funny is, no, no. Everybody picked one as their favorite. Oh, okay. So oh, yeah, five. yeah, I guess yeah. so. Because everybody picked one as their favorite. So it's kind of cool. Like, that's true, yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Do you guys catch uh, yeah. it yourself? Or yep. You? Yep. Oh, that's oh. Okay, that one. Uh, I just typed one. Okay, so this is Hawaiian. This is actually locally grown Hawaiian boy. And then this is our grilled paleo taco. Spicy. Mm -hmm. Paleo taco and our Hawaiian everything from Hawaii locally owning, raised, grown, made by these two guys, fishing grills. So now that you had all three, which ones or which one personally do you like best? This one surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like that one, but the, the spicy. I think the spicy is my favorite. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> spicy is the favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Who's that? It's all. Yep, yeah, this guy. Who's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this for, one? Okay. Oh, him too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Against oh, yeah. Yeah. No, but they're all super good. Right yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, well, like, this like guy the, wins this round. No, but like that guy said, <laughs> yeah, I think they're, they're all good. It's just yeah. all opinions. Yeah, what your favorite is preference. Okay, okay. More opinions. More opinions. So we might catch up. We'll see. So okay, guys. So. Right there is a collab with fishing grills and on fire fishing. We have our Hawaiian poi. We have our old school, like this is like palehu. So palehu is grilled in Hawaiian. So it's everything's palehu, which is grilled taco poke, our spicy taco poke, and our Hawaiian taco poke. Everything in this one is like locally grown, caught. Boys. Actually, everything is kind of pretty much that yeah, way. Yeah. Yeah. That's our Hawaiian. This one. one has the seaweed from over here. So, nice. try it out and then this. Yeah, dig in. Your opinion or your views or whatever you want. I agree. I like the spicy one. No, they're all good. They're all good. I think they're all good. Well, for me, I love spicy stuff. So, but I mean, yeah, they are all good. But for me, this one the best. But I like the creaminess of that one. Yeah. Yeah. The flavor of the. Of the grilled is super good. They're all super good though. Yeah. That boy is awesome. So how many of the spicy? Okay, we got four. Okay, and then the regular, uh, original. Two. And then Hawaiian? Uh, oh! Don't, don't worry! Don't worry. <laughs> I didn't even know. It's good. Be authentic. I they're all, yeah, they're, I think they're it's all preference, good. It's preference, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Well, we was going for authenticity. I didn't even, I didn't even know. Hey, for the record, I like this the best. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but wait, wait. this is just... I didn't know we could vote for that one. I vote for that one. Yeah. Okay, there you yeah. go. So, 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 we got so, a no. point. No. You know what the secret is? Just put mayonnaise in. Good times, good grinds, and good people. And always stay tuned for the next episode of Fishing Grills! Yeah, that was a good one. Nice. That was better than us. <laughs>